Hello beta testers. Some games go hard on cosmetics they offer and only slightly tweak aspects of the gameplay to keep it fresh. Some games go hard on the gameplay that they offer, adding entire modes, events, features that players ask for, quality of life improvements, tower defense modes, fall guy styled minigames, dating simulators to show off their beautiful and bizarre characters. In Genshin, a future update brings an event that celebrates a boss being reworked. It used to only summon ads and now it will be joining the fight. You can go out and catch water type Pokemon as part of a little event and earn a free companion to float along with you. You do things for rewards. It's easy on limitations and restrictions to incentivize you to play and earn. There's community engagement with charming showcases using voice actors flexing their characters voices to inform players of new changes. And it doesn't cost people a dime to play because Genshin and its crazy business model makes them rich as hell. Some games haven't even officially released yet and they're out here updating their demo, responding to actual feedback, not made up feedback, directly from the players. Meanwhile, seven months later, Crystal Dynamics assures us that players are leveling too fast and that they heard this from you, the player. You asked for this, except we didn't. So that's a fucking lie. A Crystal Dynamics failure. In reality, the biggest feedback everyone's had for this Avengers game is not just the lack of content, but the lack of variety of what's on offer. To be more concise, the two villains, one enemy type, and zero Marvel locations. Those two are the only Marvel supervillains you fight in the game besides the final boss. That's ridiculous. Generic robots, even for boss fights, because that's what you want in a Marvel game. Fuck the supervillains, you want robots and aim scientists. But could we not fight more than just robots and aim soldiers? Remember Marvel's Ultimate Alliance where every boss fight was a classic Marvel villain? Oh, you wanted to fight Bullseye? Ultimo? The Wrecking Crew? Nah, how about Warbot? How about Warship? Uninteresting environments and enemies. You're revisiting these places endlessly. Other games as a service games just do a better job, you know, variety within it being the same thing. Jump into the extremely repetitive gameplay loop where you'll punch things or stand in circles on four a whole different levels. The game should just change its name to the Averagers. Unless your idea of fun is painting the same wall the same color but switching the direction from up to down, I don't know how this is gonna hold you for very long. If you're looking for a repetitive, boring game that makes you do the same thing over and over and over again, then this is the game for you. Why are we stuck fighting in Utah? A snowy tundra, a forest, and a city? Here it's just the same generic biomes over and over. Future expansions, those are actually gonna come with new biomes, with whole new areas, new geography. Biomes were coming? As if any Marvel fan is interested or excited about biomes, people want Asgard, Atlantis, Wakanda, space locations, etc. But you're willfully ignorant. One of the best things about Ultimate Alliance 3 was this roller coaster feeling of flying through a who's who of Marvel's best locations and characters. The Avengers player base has been asking for some kind of roadmap for the future. Instead, they've gotten mostly crickets. Yeah, I got soon, I know. Soon TM. We're gonna make soon into a nameplate also, I think. We're gonna make soon into a nameplate also, I think. Will you delay that one too, like you did the Sarah Garza one? Since nameplates are too complicated for you to smoothly implement into your game. No joke. That happened. So now, Crystal Dynamics, after having sat on streams where you allow people to blow smoke up your ass and delete any real or valid criticism of your game, you're going to try to convince the players that you're doing this because the players begged for it. Sure, sure, this is a valuable use of development time, right? Surely after the update launches, there won't be somebody who's uploaded a YouTube video showing how to get from level 1 to 50 like this, right? Because the game is so airtight, and this is what the players are asking for, so you're doing it for them. You're welcome, and if you have anything to say about it, it automatically makes you a hater. Mm -hmm. So, Crystal Dynamics, seven months after this feedback, have shown zero other enemy factions to be included into this game, 
and even though it has shown two villains, it has only incorporated one, and that villain has not been included as a villain sector? Okay... When much of the remaining player base made it apparent that B, C, and D list villains would have been greatly appreciated if they were included, since there are only two, and somehow we've made it to seven months and that hasn't changed? Somehow even that's too hard, even with the uninspired boss fight design of these brain dead encounters. To put it concisely, if all of the bosses are this lame, y'all couldn't have just switched the model out? Another Crystal Dynamics failure. Skins needed to be good in this game, you know why? Because there was no cosmetic change. Do you remember a lot of reviewers were saying that? Had you ever heard that? You know, so this is an actual thing you heard, not like a made up, oh, too many perks. I don't just remember hearing it. I remember hearing defenders and shills mocking people because that's your complaint. Well, maybe it wasn't a big deal to some of you non-gamers. These are the fake gamers out here who've never played a Diablo, a Path of Exile, any real looter. You know what I'm talking about? Destiny could teach this game a lot. These people out here defending a Marvel game that doesn't offer different shields for Cap or different hammers for Thor, ooh. The point is, if the loot wasn't going to offer a cosmetic change, then the skins on display instead would need to individually offer enough to be significant. Maybe have effects, smoldering effects, maybe like inky symbiote coming off the skin, glowing parts on fire, eyes can glow. Give me something from skin to skin. If I can get a little bit weird, hopefully I can convey what the hell I'm talking about. What people want is a game where our cape characters, or maybe they have ribbons as well, it will unfurl dramatically as if in slow motion. You ever see a flag in a commercial? Like it's, it's just unfurling in the wind ma majestically in slow motion. That's what gamers want. Especially when loot changes nothing visually. Especially when you're charging people for skins. And especially when you have the Marvel license. I don't touch on this enough, boy. Realism and riot gear and padding is good and great for some skins. But all of them? We get enough ugly in real life, some of us in the mirror every day. Marvel is Marvel because it's historically been vibrant, colorful, sexy, and unreal. I'm speaking directly to you, listener, because I love you and I know that you have some fucking sense in your head. You have sense. And if you were granted the Marvel license and told, hey, make some money, baby, you'd be like, <sighs> Ha <laughs> ha got you. Let me get Iron Man, Spider-Man, Wolverine, Hulk, Venom. You know what I'm talking about? The, you, already, you already know which ones. Maybe they're not even your favorites. You understand me? But you know that objectively, these are the ones you need to pick to get paid because they hot. You understand? When it comes to something people want to reach out and grab, you got your hat wise. Your hat wise, all right? If you feel me on this, hit that like button because... You know damn well where I'm going with this, okay? And why should we know how to make paper better than these people? <clears throat> but listen to this. Let's say they gave us the license, right? But at the same time, they were like, nah, 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 son. You can only use these characters from these shows. So you look and you're like, no problem, shit. Let me have it in this order. Doctor Strange, Scarlet Witch, She-Hulk. Uh, Gimme Loki, yes, villains. Uh, Vision, uh, is that uh, is that Carol Danvers, Captain Marvel? Okay, can let me, can I have her in? Give me the old suit. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. That's all right, all right, all right, Captain Marvel, Captain Marvel. Yes, come on now. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, put her up on the list now. Her and She Hulk. Oh, oh, Wanda, Wanda, you come, come tie me up, girl. Oh, I know what you like. Oh, use the magic. Use the magic to bind me up. Tie me up with that magic. Oh, she's astral projector. There's two of them. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dear. Should I leave you alone? Shut up. No, I was just... <clears throat> All right. Listen, man. Damn. You want to know how Crystal Dynamics would handle this, though? This is Crystal Dynamics. I'm going to need a number eight, a number eight large, a number 11, a number 11 deluxe, a... <sighs> <sighs> a number six, ugly. What if ugly? <laughs> sorry. I mean, okay, okay. Well, I'm sorry. I guess a number four, but I don't even. I don't even want it. I'm, I'm just taking it for the, the babies, my dumb man babies. <sighs> they don't even know what quality characters are because <laughs> so tired of your male fantasies. Okay. You need to get with the program. The new program is uninspired rip-off characters that are infinitely less interesting than their predecessors. So irrelevant that people will probably think that these are their kids or like sister or something. <laughs> Guaranteed nobody's going to know their names. But you know what? You could probably guess Hawkeye. Oh, oh wow. Brilliant. You could go call her Hawkeye too. Okay. Hulk Ling. Oh, wow. Great. This guy, he runs fast. What are you going to name him? Speedster? Genius. God damn. And that's it. That's all, you know. Crystal Dynamics doesn't need anything more. A Crystal Dynamics failure. You know, if that's not funny to you, then I'm sorry. Because I used to want this game to be better myself, you know. But now I'm just thankful that it's not worse, okay? I'm thankful for that mercy, merciful crystal dynamics like if you're a marvel fan it's got to just be pov crystal dynamics beat the shit out of you <laughs> like every day seven months mm, 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 mm. Like to, uh, you still want to play mm, mm, mm. you want to play now mm, i'm taking this oh i'm locking the thing oh uh, fuck you mm, mm. like uh like if you could somehow manage worse maybe it'd be like one of the final locks <laughs> in place of the apocalypse the real world apocalypse two archers <clears throat> it stands to reason that the devs couldn't be insane enough to call any attention to the idea that, you know, a campaign exists like they're doing right now. Now they're saying next week we're going to be streaming the campaign. If you if you got patience for that kind of stuff, my God. Logically, you would imagine some sort of campaign replay is coming, which I guess deserves an applause after seven months. Right. But uh, I'm not going to allow Crystal Dynamics to shock me any further with incompetent decisions. I'm just like. You know, I'm bracing for the worst. You're living in a world where devs treat the ability to replay a game like a feature that over half a year isn't an acceptable time frame to implement. Okay. And defenders are like, you're negative. That's unproductive. You better say things that I like. Eh, look at this photograph. Every time I look at this photograph, it makes me laugh. I haven't felt this way in a long time, you know. This picture has like uh, avatar bait to me. I thought I grew out of this feeling. That ship of Theseus scene was the only part that got me on my feet. I got like a Star Trek boner. I was like, yes, this is the show. I needed something to cheer me up too, since there was no damn Doctor Strange. The military can not slip in, but jalapeno spicy portals can't make it to the party to be like, um, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> you know what I mean? Whatever. What I'm honestly worried about with Marvel's Avengers is how much they're leaving unresolved before they throw Hawkeye in. When this game historically has shown that every patch comes with just as many bugs. Not even the great kind of bugs either. You know, the ones that everybody would like. I'm talking spider bugs. I'm talking ant bugs. But uh, webs and shrinking. Magic and speed. Guns and muscly mommies. <laughs> I guess it's too cool for this game. When I watched that lawyer's video on this, my favorite thing he said was you get more of what you incentivize and less of what you punish. This move is so confoundingly bad that I genuinely have to wonder if it's 4D chess. What do I mean when I say that? I mean, the smartest move that Crystal Dynamics can make right now is to reverse the change and say that they hear everybody and they're making this change based on the listening that they're doing to the community and they want people to be happy moving forward and all of the press from this debacle would just be explosive. You'd have the first wave of the big nasty controversial change drumming up the intensity and passion of gamers who obviously don't want this and then the big warm cathartic understanding. Oh, they're listening and recognizing the error. Of course it's a bad decision and they are not tone deaf. Now, 
go report on that, boys. Go tell everybody that we've done the right thing. Mm, we're the good guys. Also, buy our next gen. You know what I mean? We promise we'll make the game not suck, even though it's a two villain, two archer, one enemy type, zero location, have an ass Marvel game right now. Wouldn't that be great? If this was their plan all along, if they came out and said the right things and convinced enough people to maybe allow them to stick around for a while. Too bad I know them too well. Too bad I've shown you that they've been trying to cripple people and their capacity to progress from the start. And when I'm the one, even if I'm in the minority, saying, hey, they are taking your ability to complete challenges in this room in an effort to increase the grind. And people go, oh, it's not that big a deal. It doesn't affect me. Oh, I love this game. Slurp, slurp, slurp. And it's like, great, great. I just want to go on record saying that this is something that they are doing. And it is something that I object to. And now that those things are piling up and people are suddenly coming to their senses, oh, this is a problem. Oh, but it hasn't been a problem up until now. You looking like a fool with your pants on the ground. I could be playing 5D chess right now saying, hey, I'm baiting them. Make me wrong, Crystal Dynamics. Apologize, bitch. Right on the cheek. Just do it right on the cheek. But what I'm seeing in the comments everywhere from disillusioned players, they feel like Crystal Dynamics is deliberately doing this because they're trying to accelerate the demise of this game. Because they don't want to be working on it anymore. You know what? This one time, make me the villain. But this is the time the villain has to save the hero. And I'm not trying to save him because I like them or anything. Baka. But because I don't want you to be defeated like this. You know what I mean? I want you to be at your best. At your peak when we face off. I want to win fair and square. I don't know why at the beginning of the fight, you pulled out a gun and you shot yourself in both your legs. I don't know why you were punching yourself in the face and gouging out your eyes and shooting yourself in both your arms. The truth is I don't give a damn that you're managing a campaign seven months later. No normal gamer fucking cares. The idea that you want to increase grind terrifies people who had genuine hope for this product. You should be showing Black Panther. Does he genuinely have claws and dagger and spear action? You should be showing Spider-Man. Can he web people up? Because we're hearing terrifying things about him not being able to swing on the air. That's the type of thing that you're fucking up, man. You know, imagine Spider-Man trying to swing adequately through the tight corridors in this corny ass game. None of this can be implemented smoothly and it's because of the foundation that they tried to build it on. It's a real problem. I'm dying to see Crystal Dynamics next move.